back to another video. As you can tell from the title today, I will be reviewing Stacey's newest mini album titled YoungLove.com. So let's get into it. So to start off the album, Stacey gave us the title track, Run To You. And upon my first listen, I was a little confused and taken aback. I didn't know how to feel about the song at first. I just felt like there was a lot going on with the production. So I listened all the way through and then listened to the rest of the album and immediately came back to listen to Run To You again. And I liked the song a lot more on my second listen. I wasn't very surprised by this because their previous title track, Stereotype, had a similar effect on me. I listened to it once and didn't immediately fall in love with it. One day I just woke up obsessed with it because it started to click after a few days. But with Run To You, the click happened a little faster. On the first listen, Run To You is a lot to consume. At least it was for me. It has a lot more dynamic elements in the track, which contrasts with their previous title tracks like ASAP and Stereotype. But Run To You is kind of reminiscent of their debut track, So Bad, with all the energy that it brings. So on the second listen, I was able to focus more and realize that the sheer vocal delivery from the girls was the key thing holding this track together. Like if any other group had attempted something like this, I don't think it would have worked. But Stacy is different and they were able to pull this off. The sheer power of all of the girls' vocal deliveries, but specifically, but specifically Shein, her delivery in the ad-libs and the back of the song really just kept me going. Like I was loving every moment of it. And I love the way that like Suman would punch in occasionally like punch in occasionally singing the lines young. Like a little bit little bit young. A little bit little bit young. I loved that. Like she didn't just sing the word young, but she put an emphasis on the O sound, like y'all, y'all. I loved that. And Jay, oh my goodness, I loved every bit of her. I loved hearing Jay open the song, and like Jay is one, truly one of my favorite voices in the group, and she's always a delight to hear. And her rap section, I was living for it. I like, I loved the little Jay Jay that came in right before her rap section. Like, I didn't even know how they managed to make room for a rap in the song. But like they did it and I loved every bit of it. It was so cute and the line JJ is still ringing in my head. Like I know this song isn't for everyone. I thought it wouldn't be for me, but I've really, really grown to love it. Like the very next day after listening to the album, I woke up with the synths playing in my head and Shian's like little line. So I went to you, Ooh, I went to you. Whatever, whatever, baby, baby. Yeah, that line was repeatedly playing in my head. And like just overall, I've really grown to love the instrumentals of the song. Especially like the little, like the ding that comes in and out. Like what was first jarring at, on my first listen is something that I've really, really grown to love about the track. So songs like, th songs like this are the reason why I wait a couple of weeks to sit down and write my review because my opinions on my first listen to a song are very unreliable. Like some people can tell right off the bat that they hate a song and they'll hate it forever, but that's not the case with me. I like to see if my opinions change after some time, and many times they do. It doesn't happen all the time and with every song I listen to, but it happened here with this song. In this track, Stacy is ready to run to their love, or even if they burn in their love, get hurt, or disappear, they're ready to run no matter what. And you know what? They make me want to run too. This is Shein's song. This is her moment, and this is where she shines. Right off the bat, she pulls me in with the way that she sings the opening lines. And then the group comes in angelically singing the oh parts that like serve as the post chorus, which is great. I love them there. And like another standout section of the song is when Sayin first comes in singing her notes with the piano right behind her. Like her vocal delivery with the piano climbing up the scale behind her sounded heavenly. 
and it was so really just really pretty to listen to like like Saiyan's voice usually flies under my radar but I couldn't help but notice her right here in this section and throughout the song Xian is just slaying my entire existence with her ad-libs like whoever is arranging their music please give them a raise please give them a raise they always know just where to perfectly place Xian's vocals her ad-libs always elevate their songs and just take them to another level i love hearing her everywhere and the lyrics are just so precious like they're singing about how they share the same feelings as someone and they don't want to waste any time and just want the person to already tell them how they feel. They, they know that this person likes them and they're pretending not to notice, like Stacy's pretending not to notice, but they want them to come out and just say how they feel already. And the cutest thing is that they want the person to come and convey their feelings first, not the other way around. Because, you know, they might be scared to convey their feelings, so they're inviting the other person to open up first. Sometimes it's really easy to forget how young the member of the Stacey are and this song reminds me that they're all still young girls. You know, this song is so tender and perfectly encapsulates young love. Like, just like all the other songs on this album, but I really not noted it here. And the song is just so stellar and is one of my absolute favorite b-sides from their entire discography and I don't think I can praise it enough. Like, if you haven't listened to it, Go ahead and listen to it right now. Twenty four seven is such a cute and catchy song. Here, Stacy sings about how they want to stick by their lover's side all the time. They will gladly do anything they ask and never get tired of being with them. I really love the backing track on this song on the song and how it like slows down in the refrain when Isa comes in to sing her first lines. It sounds so dreamy and Isa sounds so great in this little section. The standout lyrics also come from the section when Isa sings the lines, even if time passes, no matter where you are, I stay by your side with you. I also love how the lines in the post chorus are distributed. The lines bounce from Xian to Isa and then to Jay. One person could have easily sung those four lines, but I like that they distributed them to allow us to hear each person. They also managed to fit in a rap section for Jay here, which I love. Like, once again, whoever arranges Stacey's music, like, give them a raise because the lines just always complement whoever's singing them. Like, I know I already said this, but they really do need a raise. They always know who needs to be at the forefront of the song, who needs to do the backing vocals here, and who needs to sing what lines, when, and where. Just, just great. I also really want to commend them on their inclusion of the rap section for Jay, just to come back to that, because so far, the rap, the rap sections in Stacey's song can never feel clunky or out of place, and I hope it like continues to stay that way for Stacey's songs. And to close this section, this was definitely Suman's song. Like, hands down, it was her. Like, she was such a standout in the opening and in the verses. Like, she opened the song so gracefully with her light, velvety vocals. And they also really carried us and took us out through the vocals. So, great job, Suman, here. I loved her in this section. My love so young, I'm young. I haven't talked about Yoon yet because I was saving it for this song. Up until this song, she sings lines here and there but doesn't really have a lot of moments to shine, but she gets that chance right here in the opening. As the opening instrumental plays, Yoon comes in and makes a declaration. She states, my love's so young, I'm young, at a sweet age, I can't only look at you. This line marks a shift in the album and in Stacey's attitude and feelings towards love. Up until this track, they have been pining over their lover, telling them they want to run to them no matter what. They tell their lover that they have the same feelings and they should just be together already and that they want to cling to them 24-7. But in this song, their attitude changes. In her first lines, Jay states, It's okay to not understand my complex attitude. It's okay to leave. It doesn't really matter. 
And in the second verse, San sweetly sings the following lines. You act like you'll give me everything with just words. I'm not swayed by it. I'm strong. Then Jay comes in again and says, you approach me clumsily and pretend to be in love. I won't be fooled again. You know I'm so bad. Side note, I love the little callback to their debut song, So Bad, So Cute. In this song, Stacy's heart grows cold towards their lover as they move through complex emotions. This track feels anthemic and does so through the girl's sheer vocal delivery, especially Yoon. Yoon's powerful delivery in the, opening, in the opening perfectly sets the tone for the song. At its core, young love is about unrequited love, but it's so much more than that. The girls learn that feelings won't always be reciprocated and that people lie about how they feel. They quickly learn that they are still so young. The love that they have to give is so young and fresh. That's why the lyrics, my love so young, I'm young, at a sweet age, I can't only look at you, really stuck with me. They understand that this was just one bad relationship and they can move on from it. At a young age, a person's first heartbreak feels like the end of the world. It's intense and messy and really painful because the love a person experiences at a young age is their first experience of love, so it hurts when things don't work out. But through this experience, Stacy learns that they don't have to stick to that one person. They're smarter now and they can move on from this first love and heal. They can explore other options and find a new love someday. Can you really call yourself a K-pop group if you haven't made a song titled Butterfly? This track is so soft and the girls' vocals follow in suit. In the previous songs, their voices packed a punch, but here they glide over the words and sing about how their special someone is a butterfly who lights them up. I love how they sing about their lover not just being a butterfly, but a sort of guiding light. And my favorite lines in the song are, the little light that illuminates me, little love, it's you. I also love the part where the piano comes in comes in again right before Jay sings the first line to the bridge. I have really been loving the way that they use the piano throughout this album. I also really love the jazzy R&B feel that this song has. It was a great idea to place this song right after Young Love because Young Love was so intense and power packed and Butterfly was a good song to bring us back to our center place. This song brings back the airy and light feeling of blossoming love and reminds us how great it feels to be in love. Shein, Shein also does some amazing vocal gymnastics in the outro, which I loved like always. I think this is a song where she does a whistle note, which is really impressive, and I really loved it. Remember, I Want You Baby brings the album to a close. To put it plainly, Stacy just wants to be with their baby. They want their lover to come and fill their empty heart. Throughout the album, Stacy plays around with different ways of describing their lover. In Run To You, the lover was sunny. In Butterfly, the lover was described as well a butterfly that illuminates them. And in I Want You Baby, the lover is a star. Notice the pattern? I'm big on words and lyrics, so this was just something fun that I picked up on. Um, towards the end of the song, Yoon gives us a killer high note, which I loved. Like, the way that she stretches out the A sound and the word star that she's singing is just so chef's kiss. And I couldn't understand why I was so fascinated with this song until I saw people talking about the beat and it finally clicked. They're singing over a drill beat. This song felt so different from regular K-pop songs, and now I finally know why. Rappers usually sing over drill beats, so it was interesting to hear Stacey sing over one, and it was pretty cool. I'll end this section off with my favorite lines from the song. I want you, baby. On a night like this, I knew that you were thinking about me. I loved everything about this album. The soundscapes, the R&B feels, the synths in the title track, the lyrics, the vocals, the topics they touched upon, just everything. Seriously, they all sounded so great on this album. And I was running out of ways to explain 
how great their vocals were. So if there was a song where I didn't really talk about vocals, that's why I was just simply out of running. I was just simply running out of ways to talk about how great they sounded. And while it took me a few minutes to take a liking to the title track, I loved all the B-sides from the first listen. The producers really did a great job with this album. There was never a dry moment because each track was so refreshing and brought something new to the album. There was also an element of maturity to this album. Stacey isn't just growing as singers and performers, but they are showing growth and being able to show themselves in their music. Like me, many of the oldest members of Stacey are in their early 20s. They are singing about emotions and experiences that people in their 20s can relate to, and it's nice to hear. I hope that Stacey's writers continue to let their lyrics and style of music mature with the girls. This is hands down one of the best and most cohesive mini albums that I've ever heard, and it will be an extremely act. It will be an extremely tough act to follow this year and in the years to come. I think that this a that this I think that this album is going to age gracefully in Stacey's discography. Like none of the tracks felt like fillers, and they each played their role in telling the story of literal young love. It may be a little early to say this, but Stacey have proven themselves to be the best first generation girl groups and are a serious competitor. If you weren't paying attention to Stacey after their trendy hits like ASAP and Stereotype, I think you should be paying attention now because if you blink, you'll miss Stacey's gradual rise to stardom. Thanks for listening. Resident Mo Army signing off.